Now, a bit of a change of pace now. The New South Wales and Victorian governments are at odds over whether public service employees should be forced back into the office. New South Wales Premier Chris Minns publicly said today that he thought it was bizarre Victoria wasn't asking their employees to get back to work after what were quite extreme COVID restrictions. Have a look. I've seen the Victorian government knock New South Wales for this change. We're not for changing. We think it's important for the public service in New South Wales. And at the end of the day, frankly, with all of the lockdowns in Melbourne, I would have thought a lot of people in Victoria would be desperate to get out of the house. The Allen government in Victoria said that any public servants from New South Wales who wanted workplace flexibility should move to Victoria. Um, Michael Sucker, you know, you live in Melbourne. What did you think of this response from Victoria? Well, they were smart aleck words from a Premier who's uh, basically running an insolvent government, let's be frank here, and uh, the Premier has been a part of every single decision, uh, woeful decision that has led Victoria to the position we're in now. Uh, I think the Premier of New South Wales has made a pretty self-evident call today. In many respects, it follows what the corporate world is already doing, and uh, I think the, the truth is of public servants, they are there to serve the public good and the vast majority of them want to do so, uh, but they need some leadership. And um, this sort of smart, smart aleck line from the Victorian Premier, um, I mean, they are the worst performing government in this country behind Anthony Albanese's government. Uh, so she doesn't exactly uh, have a place uh, or occupy a place where she should be giving advice to any other state. Mm. Uh, let alone sort of smart lines like that. Mm. Uh, this is sadly, Vic Victoria, a government that's seeing business leave our state, investment leave our state, uh, and on so many metrics, uh, Victoria, which occupied, um, and I'm a very parochial Victorian, but Victoria, mm. which occupied the upper echelon of virtually every single ep economic <laughs> statistic in this country, is now right at the bottom of the ladder. And I would have thought someone like the Victorian Premier would try and take some advice and look at what other states are doing. Quite frankly, other states that are doing much better than Victoria and uh, are not in the parlous financial situation that we're in, uh, which is um, uh, basically bankrupt. Mm. Look, aside from the um, budget bottom line, Bronwyn, I think Chris Menz is showing time and time again that he is the model of what a, a centrist... Labor politician should look like. I mean, wh whatever the issue is, he mostly takes a very mainstream, sensible standpoint. I don't think I can endorse him on everything, but I can certainly do so on this issue. I think it's uh, he's realised there is no productivity growth, that he's decided uh, that he's going to insist there be some. And, Michael, I feel very sorry for you down there in Victoria, having to live with that appalling government. It's a basket case. But, um, and everyone watching who's and, in Melbourne. And everyone watching, indeed, indeed. Uh, and you don't deserve it, but you really have to vote them out to get a change. But if you go back to this question of productivity generally, there is none while this work from home uh, is become such a norm. Mm. People say, oh, you can't go back. Well, yes, you can.